friends. We're here to do some Thanksgiving prep work in here. So I like to get a jump on things and I like to have my holidays planned out pretty far in advance. All right, so I like to kind of get a jump on things. If you didn't see the video where I made this and the, I don't know where would it go haven't seen this yet sneak peek so if you haven't seen those videos yet make sure that you check them out I made this Thanksgiving checklist and then I also made a online order tracker so we're not quite there yet to do our online order planning because I like to make sure the day of Thanksgiving is planned before I even think about planning out my shopping. So we're going to do our Thanksgiving checklist today. And then I'm also going to show you how I use my November calendar to plan my perfect holiday. And I like kind of host, I guess you could say my mom and I share those duties. It's at her house, but I do a lot of the prep work. So let's just go ahead and get into this. So I'm going to use some of these little stickers from the seasonal book so i'm going to be using a ton of these in the seasonal section to mark off what needs to be done and i guess i'll chat through it with you guys so that i can i guess tell you the method to my madness so this is my three weeks out section so the first thing that i do is i i prepare the guest list and send out the invites. Usually that's like a Facebook invite for my family. We do it low key. There's no paper invitations going out for our Thanksgiving, that's for sure. So based on the number of guests invited, we also like to then plan out how many tables and chairs we're gonna need. So are we gonna need a kid's table that year? Like what are we gonna need exactly? So let's see, head count. And I'm gonna shorthand a lot of this because there's not a ton of space plus tables and chairs. So we need to know how many of those about three weeks out. Then we also plan the quantity of food. So that's next. So based on that head count, we plan out the quantity of food. So we do, we need just a turkey. Do we need a turkey and a ham? Do we need to double recipes? How many pies do we need? Those kind of things. So, and recipe serving sizes. That's another good one. If you see me like pausing or it sounds weird, I'm looking at my notes from last year. So recipe sizes also on there. Okay, so then also three weeks out, we for sure need to plan the menu. Like that's a very important piece. So plan the menu. So we need to make sure what we're serving, if we're gonna change it up at all. One year we did like a Pacific Northwest menu so we did like a turkey and then we also did salmon we did like a cranberry stuffing so and we did like acorn squashes so it was all really really good stuff so plan the menu three weeks out and then we also check in to see how many utensils we need so based on that head count how many utensils do we need and do we need to like combine forces on our utensils so utensils how many and then if we need any more flatware, like we create a flatware shopping list. Usually we just borrow from other family members and that's our shopping list, but usually we don't have to buy anything. Flatware shopping list. Then I like to clean out my fridge and freezer because I know that I'm gonna need room in there for, for food, of course. So clean fridge plus freezer and now I'm not like a cooking guru or anything but we have a trick in our family if it's cold enough in most years it is in some areas this will not work so like if you live in Florida or California or something this is not going to work in your area but we sometimes will like cook things the night before not all the way cook them just like prepare them so like we'll put the stuffing together and then we will actually like put it out in a car like in somebody's trunk because it's cold out there like it's it's below freezing usually on things Thanksgiving so it's cold it's colder or as cold as a refrigerator so we'll put some of the dishes out there to save on fridge space so if you live in a cold area that's something that you can do again I'm not like a cooking guru so if that's like a big no <laughs> then don't do it you don't need to don't don't be judgy in the comments then the last thing is to plan the decor okay so that is what I do three weeks out so then two weeks out 
I like to make sure, and this is actually sometimes something that I will do three weeks out, but sometimes I'll do it two weeks out. So definitely purchase a turkey. If you haven't done it on your three week list, it definitely needs to be done on your two week list. Because if you, especially if you're getting a frozen one, you need to give that sucker some time to thaw. I like to get fresh ones, but that's just me. Then I need to create a non-perishable grocery list. So that is the next thing. So all of the canned items or things that don't need to be stored in the fridge can be purchased around this time or even a week out, kind of depends. It depends on your bravery and how close you wanna to get to the store. So, and I split them up. When I'm trying to purchase things, I definitely split things up between perishable and non-perishable. And then, yeah, the next step on here from my notes from last year says to create the perishable list. <laughs> so who knew? So you gotta split them up. At least that's how I do it, just so that I know what I need from each area. So then I create the perishable grocery list. And those are all things you only wanna get a couple of days in advance unless you are doing a grocery delivery. But if you are gonna do a grocery delivery, make sure that you schedule that thing like now or like two weeks ago or whatever because they are gonna fill up really fast. If you need to, then you get the extra flatware and tableware that you need. So like if you needed things on a list, somewhere then you would pick those things up i usually pick them up from family so either purchase or borrow flatware and this is just as needed i always put it on my list because i feel like i always need something purchase disposable food containers also goes on this list and that usually goes on my non-perishable list but i give it its own section here as well so purchase disposable food containers because I like to send things with people. Purchase disposable food containers. The next step is to purchase or make decorations. And typically they're purchasing or pulling them up from the basement or, you know, pulling out a few extra things. So purchase or make decorations as needed. Again, if you already have everything, I like to just kind of have things. I typically will buy things at like the 75% off sale the year before, but if I don't, I will grab a couple of things. And then purchase the non-perishable groceries. And I'm gonna give this one one of these because this is very important to do at this time. So then purchase non-perishable grocery items. And then borrow or rent tables and chairs as needed. It's the last one on my two-week list. Okay, so that's how I get prepared for those two columns. And then one week out, it's just a couple of things. I like to give my home the first once over. So clean home and prepare for any guests. So if we have people staying, I'll make sure the linens are out that kind of thing, prepare for guests. I will make sure I have like the travel size shampoos out so that they can have them, all of that good stuff. And then a week ahead, I will start preparing food items that can be made ahead. So these are things like pie crusts and stocks and those kind of things. And sometimes even like we use a cranberry chutney, some of those can stay for up to a week but the big things will come in the next few days. So then I also make a cooking plan for Tuesday and Wednesday because I like to get most of it done the few days before. Cooking plan for Tuesday slash Wednesday. I like to get the decorations up about a week ahead. So place decorations. And then the last thing is to iron any table linens. So I like to make sure that those are all pressed and fresh. So, and some people are like, well, why are you ironing them? I don't know, there's just something about it. It looks nice and pretty, especially for a fancy dinner. So that's what I do for up to a week ahead or up to three weeks ahead. Then this is like crunch time. So, okay, so on the Tuesday before, I like to set up all the tables and chairs. And yes, it can be a hassle to walk around for a couple of days, but that's okay. So set up all tables and chairs. Okay, then I like to decorate the tables and place the utensils also on that Tuesday. So if the tables are already set up, you might as well. So if you're gonna do any decor items, you decorate the tables plus place utensils. And I do all of this ahead of time because 
on the day of Thanksgiving, I like to just spend it with my family. Then I like to purchase my perishable groceries on the Tuesday. So Tuesday before Thanksgiving, preferably at like as soon as the store is open. So purchase perishable things. That would be like our vegetables and that kind of thing. I sometimes will even do this on like the Monday or Sunday before just to kind of beat the crowds or schedule your delivery for this day. And then I like to also set up a beverage section, I guess, like a beverage station. I'm gonna have to shorthand that, beverage. So I set up the beverage station. Did not give myself that much room. I totally saw that coming when I placed that tree, but it was too cute to not do that. Okay, then on the Wednesday before, I will pick up any additional groceries. Hopefully not, but I do reserve myself some time if I need to on that Wednesday to pick up additional things. Pick up additional groceries as needed. So like this would be if I forgot something and I absolutely have to go to the store. Otherwise, no. Otherwise, I avoid the stores at all cost. If I'm baking any pies or anything like that, I will bake them this day also, because this can be done. I might even, you know, sometimes do this earlier than that Wednesday. Let's see, then I prep all of my salad greens the night before. So whether it's rinsing them or chopping them, I prep all of those. So prep salad greens the night before. I like to get all of my potatoes peeled as needed. So peel potatoes and store. I sometimes even boil them ahead of time <laughs> and store. And then on this night before I cook and refrigerate any casseroles or dishes like that on the menu. So then really the only thing I have left is to cook the turkey on Thanksgiving. So then on Thanksgiving day, we cook the turkey and then we warm the other dishes like the potatoes and casseroles. And then I also make sure to prep the salad and that is pretty much it. Sometimes I'll give my house like one more once over. So last minute cleaning can also go on there, but I usually will have like a cleaning checklist for the day of, so I don't put that on here. So this is my checklist. This is the items that go on here and I will have photos of this on Instagram all filled out if you guys wanna check this out. I can also leave a link to the Etsy shop where I actually got the printable with all of this information on it so that you guys can check it out. You can use it to guide your own or you can just print off hers and use that one. So now that we have our checklist, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my holiday planner. We are going to hang on to our Thanksgiving checklist, but we're also going to go into the monthly view in November. And from this checklist, we're gonna start placing items on our monthly view. I have a couple of notes that I always put on there to make sure that I have everything ready to go. I know what's expected of me. I know where I need to be, all of that stuff. So I'm gonna use this star one right here. It's not, again, it's not Thanksgiving-y, but that's okay. It matches the color of this section, so this monthly section. So as we're prepping for Thanksgiving, these are things that we need to know. I can always add more items in here as well as we get closer to the holiday. I think I might wanna take this November section out and just have it out for a minute to take the monthly out. So I wanna know, am I going somewhere? or am I hosting? So am I hosting or am I taking food? Those are my big monthly questions. And then how many people am I cooking for either way? So how many people? And that's on our other list, but again, it's just kind of a guiding monthly question that I like to kind of keep at hand. And then the third thing is to plan the meal, plan out our meal. These are my guiding monthly things for the month of November. I need to make sure that I create those shopping lists. So again, just like a secondary reminder, shopping list. And again, I like to break it down. Perishable, and those are last minute things versus non-perishable. Well, my camera cut me off. So we are just talking about how to plan out my monthly section here. So we need to come out so we can see the monthly as a whole. So the first of November was on a Thursday. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yes, okay, so this is Thanksgiving. So what I wanna do is mark that. And this is an undated extension pack, and so that's why it's not already marked. So I wanna mark that in here so that I know. So there's Thanksgiving, and this is the dates and holidays. And so we'll just go ahead and mark that in here so that we know what we've got going on here. Okay, so this is Thanksgiving Day. This is the 22nd of November 2018. And this probably would be so much easier if I just dated this, but hashtag I'm lazy. I'm not gonna do that right now. <laughs> Maybe I will later. So I'm gonna work backwards. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna mark the days that I have to do things because there are some days where I literally cannot do anything because my schedule does not allow for that. So, so my daughter is out of school all week that week. So I'm just gonna mark that we have no school happening all week on Thanksgiving week. My son has school Monday and Tuesday and, or excuse me, Monday and Wednesday and I'm volunteering in his class on that Wednesday sure why I decided to do that, but I did. So, but it'll be fun. It's like a pajama day in his class. So just making sure that we have no school days marked off and all of those things. No school. And my daughter has conferences this week too. So they're really just making it like super busy this, this year. So Thanksgiving, no school, and then we'll do a blue, no school as well. So these are all Delilah, no school. Harrison only does not have school Thursday and Friday. He has school all the other days. Okay, so then, and Delilah has conferences. So what I'd like to do is on the 21st, I'm going to make sure that I clean the house. So I'm gonna use some of these little, little guys here to mark off some chores and some, just some things that I need to make sure that I have on my calendar ready to roll. So like I said, I like to make sure that my house is pretty in pretty good shape by the morning of Thanksgiving. So I've, by this point, I've already cleaned it. So we're working backwards. So clean house gonna go the day before Thanksgiving. And then on the Tuesday before, we already said we're gonna pick up all the groceries. So the grocery pickup or schedule a delivery for this day, depending on what you do. I'm kind of considering doing a grocery delivery, but I don't know. I have to look at like the times they have available and all of that because they may not have anything available for the day before Thanksgiving at this this point. On the Monday before, we are going to do side dish prep and any errands that are left. So we are going to do those in teal. So side dish prep in green. Again, these are not like super Thanksgiving colors, but they are going to draw my attention to the place in my planner where I need to go. And I don't put these on my monthly view in my other planner because this is again from my holiday planner. So it's strictly for holiday planning. So side dish prep. And all of this is on the checklist. So we're like double checklisting everything. Side dish prep and any errands that need to be done. And then the Sunday before, we are going to do any desserts. I'm gonna start making the desserts. So we're going to make desserts. All right, so that's our like week before. And I have other things on here. So the Saturday before I don't have anything, but this, let's see, the Friday before I really want to make sure that I do a Costco run. So if I need anything at Costco, whether it's perishable or unperishable, that is the day that I'm gonna go because if you don't, if you go any later than that, you are gonna be fighting with some crazy crowds. So Costco is on this day and there are always Costco items to be picked up. So it would be a week before Thanksgiving. This is where I can prep some food items. So I always like to make ahead items. So like, again, like our stock, pie crusts, that kind of thing. 
Okay, so I think that is everything that I have on the monthly view. All right, so then we will put those back into the holiday planner and we will take a look at what our next steps need to be. So we'll put all of those back in there. So our monthly is set up for now. We're gonna put this back in here, this. All right, there we go. All right, so then our Thanksgiving checklist. I might even just put this right in the middle of the November monthly so I have it ready to go. Okay, so there's that. And then we have our daily to do's as we get closer, like what we are going to do. So next in my holiday planner, I have all of our recipes in here. And then I also have the holiday menu planning sheet. So the only thing I don't like about this is that it does not give me a shopping list on the back. So that is kind of bummer. What I think I might do actually, instead of using the holiday menu planning, like I had intended, I will put this back into the menu section. Of course it does. Okay. So menu planning. And I think, I mean, I think this can be useful, but I think that I like the meal plan a little bit better and I'll just relabel it. I think that'll be fine just for this purpose because it does have our grocery list here on the back and I might need two of the grocery lists because it's gonna be a big one. Okay, and actually I am gonna need two of the grocery lists because I am going to do a perishable and a non-perishable. So we'll just clip them together. I feel like this video is gonna be forever long. Sorry about that, you guys. This is how I prep for Thanksgiving. It takes me forever. But then it's so easy when the day arrives, I don't even have to do anything, like nothing, pretty much. So we'll use these guys from the Joanne sticker book. I have been in this sticker book so much today and I have planned so much, you guys. There's so many videos coming for you. I, who's excited? I know I am. We will just start by covering things up. So I'll cover these up and then I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> So I covered those up because I don't want them to be days of the week. And this is what I originally planned to do. So this is going to be main dishes. Main dishes, we have appetizers. You ever look at a word and you're like, did I spell that right? I apologize if I misspell any of these. Then we have side dishes, so sides. We have desserts, we have drinks. And I think that's it. There might be one or two more categories. We will find out. So the main dishes are going to be the turkey, of course. Mashed potatoes would be a side. Stuffing we have as a side. Cranberry chutney, and we make ours from scratch. We don't do the canned stuff. We do a salad of some kind. My recipe card says broccoli salad, but I guess that's kind of up in the air. Maybe I should do that as a category. We should do salads. Okay, so maybe a green salad. And I'll have to run this by, you know, my mom who runs the show a lot of the time. Green salad. And then we also need to probably do the broccoli salad. We do that every year. It's a good one. Oh, crescent rolls. That would be appetizer maybe. It's kind of a side, but I'm gonna put it here because it's kind of a small item. Oh, sweet potatoes. We don't do yams, we do sweet potatoes and we just do brown sugar on them. It's pretty, pretty darn good. Gravy, toppings, I guess, condiments. So like the gravy will go here. There we go. Gravy. Okay, the desserts, we're gonna have Pumpkin pie, of course. We will probably have a pecan pie because that is a favorite. So this is my meal plan, kind of. Drinks, that's gonna be blank until we know for sure. And then I'm gonna put also a ham or other meat. Like I said, one year we've done a salmon before. We're also gonna do an artichoke dip. I love that artichoke dip. And like a veggie tray probably. 
We're not gonna have a ton of people, so we don't need a ton of things for people to just snack on. So a veggie tray. Let's see, drinks probably will stick pretty simple. So water, juice for the kids maybe, or cider, and then beer and wine maybe for some of the adults. We also need the brine items, so I need to make sure I get those. I'm actually, I think I am gonna go ahead and make my grocery list and I'm just gonna frame it off of what I did last year. So this is the grocery list I used last year and this came from the Happy Planner home extension and I didn't split it, it looks like, from perishable to non-perishable. So I'm gonna do all of the non-perishable things first. So canned goods. Okay, so we need large peaches, a large can of peaches. And this is for the turkey. We did this last year. Oh my goodness, the turkey turned out so good. So large peaches, large pears. We are gonna need chicken broth. And some of this I already have in my pantry, so I'll just pull it out. Lemon juice, vinegar, frozen items or fridge, I think that's gonna go on the perishable one. A minced garlic, this is like a canned garlic. Salt, pepper, okay, uh, nutmeg. And again, some of these I have in my pantry, so I'll kind of cross off or put that I just have them and put them in a bag somewhere. Um, marjoram, I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. Probably am, probably, I don't know. Brown sugar, uh, regular sugar, I guess. White sugar, I don't know. Cloves mayo, flour. Okay, breadcrumbs, that's also non-perishable. So if you save your lists from year to year, it makes it super easy. We need raisins, almonds, sunflower seeds, bourbon. Uh, I think that's for a different recipe. It might be for a pie. We'll see, I'll put it on here as non-perishable. Stuffing mix. So that's like the seasoning, I think. It usually comes in it, but sometimes not. Cider, apple cider. I'm gonna put juice next to it because I also get apple cider vinegar. So if I see vinegar and cider, I'll be confused. <laughs> and then I have rigatoni on my other list, but I don't think we're gonna use that this year because we're not gonna make the mac and cheese because my youngest, no, my both of my kids are actually lactose intolerant at this time. All right, so we have all of the non-perishable things over here and there might be more stuff that I add over there, but now I'm gonna get all the fresh stuff. And again, I'm just, I'm copying it from this list. So <laughs> I am just gonna add those things on there. Okay, so I'm gonna put, let's see. Oh, are we on there? We're in, we're in frame, yeah, we are. All right, so we've got a pie, and I'm gonna put a question mark, because I'm not sure if I'm gonna make one or if I'm gonna buy one. Okay, and then I want fresh rosemary, and then I would like fresh parsley. Okay, I would like fresh sage, fresh thyme, potatoes, onion, celery, cranberries. These are fresh, so not like the dried ones or anything like that. Those are fresh ones. Broccoli, sweet potatoes, and we're gonna do milk and some sort of nut milk because again, my kids are lactose. Half and half butter, and we also have a non-dairy butter that we get for the kids. Eggs, those are all canned. Let's see, the crescent rolls are refrigerated, so those are perishable. Now you just get the organic Annie's ones usually. And then, oh, I put, did I put the turkey on here? I didn't even put the turkey on here. Turkey, if we're gonna do a meat tray, we'll get sliced meat. Okay, so these, those are my lists and my meal plans. So let's go ahead and get those back in there as well as all of my recipe cards. And again, these are all just like simply just written out because I use them every year. They're not like super decorative. I should probably go ahead and decorate them because they are kind of like family heirlooms, but I have not done that yet. Okay. So, oh yeah, I moved my Thanksgiving checklist, that's right, to there. We'll put all of the meal plans kind of in the middle here also in the grocery list, just so we have, just so we have it all going on. I will just go ahead and put these kind of in the 
back. And on the day that I have scheduled for like cleaning, so like the day before, I'll make sure to use my cleaning checklist. I love these. I might even use this the week before Thanksgiving to make sure. And then I might even do like all of my zones. <laughs> so yeah, that is pretty much it. And again, I will update this. I might even do like a November flip through after it's all finished to show you kind of how it all turned out. I will definitely update next year, but this is everything that I have. So just to kind of recap what we did, we filled in first the Thanksgiving checklist front and back. Then we planned out the monthly, all of this stuff. So I looked at no school days. I planned out where to do food, that kind of thing. And then I made my meal plan here. So I took one of the meal plan sheets and I just did main dishes, appetizers, sides, desserts, drinks, salads, condiments. And then this is blank, but this is my non-perishable grocery list. And then this is my perishable grocery list. So Thanksgiving is prepped and I will keep you all posted. So thank you all so much for all of your love and support. If you are one of my current subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. Here is your internet hug for the day. You're my favorite people on the internet and I just wanna give you the biggest hug ever. If you are new around here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below. If you want to find me on other social sites or see updates on any of these things, you can definitely check that out over on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. So thanks for stopping by guys. By the way, have fun today.